She-Hulk has just finished its run on Disney+. Plus. New show starring Tatiana Maslany, nine episodes, around 30 minutes each. Adapts the comic books about Hulk's cousin who gets a mild version of his powers due to a blood transfusion or, as it happens in the show, due to their blood just accidentally coming in contact with one another. Uh, known for always being pretty goofy, funny and breaking the fourth wall way before Deadpool even existed in the first place. Now, based on the promotional materials for the show, before it even aired, I was cautiously pessimistic. Uh, first of all, the She-Hulk comic books are really goofy uh, and they managed to work because the comic books themselves are in general pretty goofy to start with, uh, much more so than the more than the somewhat more grounded MCU. Uh, so it was a question of whether the tone would even work. Uh, and then secondly, what about the CGI? I mean, the trailers showed really poorly looking She-Hulk form and I thought that the budget limitations and the fact that Disney is famously or infamously overworking its VFX artists for many years now, I thought that would spell disaster on this front. And then I saw the first couple of episodes and I thought, yeah, I was about right. Um, the first three or so of them I found pretty middling. Uh, the CG left much to be desired, as I expected. The humor didn't entirely work for me. I thought some of the scenes were cringy, some of the action sequences were unnecessary and didn't look too good. So even though there were inter entertaining moments, even in those first episodes, I wasn't entirely sold on it. But then somewhere around episode four or five, something clicked. And I don't know whether it's the show finding its footing or me beginning to get on the same page that it was, but I started to really enjoy myself. Uh, and then what happened was that She-Hulk went on the complete opposite trajectory uh, to most Marvel shows on Disney+. Plus. Just think about it. Falcon and the Winter Soldier started out okay, ended mediocre. Moon Knight started very interesting, ended up just decent. Miss Marvel started super fun in its first episode and then went pretty downhill. Even WandaVision, which I loved, has been criticized for following the traditional Marvel formula in the finale. And I have to admit there is something in that criticism. Meanwhile, She-Hulk starts out mediocre and then climbs and it gets better and better with each episode and the finale was probably my favorite episode of any Disney Plus show released so far. I won't spoil why, but uh, I was laughing my ass off throughout, uh, being very entertained and enjoying what the show ended up doing with itself. Um, crucially though, I think it's not just the finale that saves the show. I think it's got clever writing throughout. Uh, the show was, what the show amazed me with is that it was very aware of the waves of hatred it would face on the internet just by virtue of existing. And I mean, there were huge numbers of one-star reviews even before the show premiered, so you can't say that that's genuine criticism. You have to you have to differentiate between genuine criticism and people who haven't even watched it and are just criticizing for the sake of criticism. And you know, the show was calling all of that out directly in the episodes. Uh, it felt like the main storyline works on two levels. One, it's just interesting within the confines of the show to have She-Hulk's opponents and critics and online trolls play into who ends up being the show's main villain. And two, it's a meta commentary on what was going on outside of the show, on sites like Reddit. And it's not like the show is only doing that, far from it. Uh, it was equally as smart in playing with genuine fan theories developing over the weeks and sort of calling out those fan theories and fan expectations as well. In the process, becoming very aware of the Marvel formula, uh, becoming stale and actively changing things. Uh, it was also full of little self-contained silly storylines, which for the most part were pretty funny. Um, Wong, always great to have him, all of the D-list villains brought in various episodes, the dating struggles of Jennifer Walters, uh, the courthouse comedy, uh, because it can be called a courthouse drama, really. It was just fun to watch for me, as simple as that. Uh, I like what they've done with most of the characters, I've already mentioned Wong. I think Tatiana Maslany is immediately likable as Jennifer and I, I rooted for her throughout. Although I have to say I enjoyed her screen presence more in the human form than the She-Hulk form, which probably has to do with the poor CG. Uh, Mark Ruffalo has fun with his appearance, uh, I love the way they integrated Daredevil into the show. 
and I really appreciated the way they went with Abomination, because I feared he would stay a one-note villain that we knew from the film, but they made him into something so much more interesting in this. Now, to be fair, I don't think that the show is perfect, and I do have some criticisms, and I, I think you can criticize the show for, for a number of things. As I said, I think it starts in an unimpressive way and needed time to find its footing. The CG, even though improved compared to the trailers, is still not very good in my opinion. Uh, many of the action sequences felt unnecessary. Titania as the character kind of ended up going nowhere. Some of the smaller plot lines didn't impress me, like the one subplot with the superhero costume designer. Uh, but on the whole, more often than not, I liked what I was seeing, and admittedly, I am a sucker for a good ending, and to me the final episode was phenomenal, so it, it probably elevated the show a little bit in my mind. Now, I'm sure even the finale will be divisive and not everyone will agree with me, but I will say this, I would much rather have Marvel do some new, interesting things, things they haven't done before, and not reach perfection, rather than repeat the same safe thing that we've seen dozens of time now, times now. And I felt that that's exactly what She-Hulk was doing. It was trying to break things and, and, and do new sort of stuff. Lower stakes, goofier humor, the drama being more personal rather than world ending, and a final episode that is wonderfully set out, self-aware and well done. And honestly, it just makes me more optimistic for the future of Marvel Cinematic Universe in general.